how much protein do you really need? Unlike carbs and fats, it's never been vilified by the media. So protein is our little darling associated with health, muscles, bodybuilding, exercise, and longevity. But people, I think, are eating way too much of it because it's being sold by marketers in a whole bunch of foods where protein usually is found in lower concentrations. We're talking about breakfast cereals, cereal bars. You're finding protein in a lot of things. And now almost every gym has a bar that has smoothies that add extra protein. Most people don't need this extra protein in your diet. Now, according to the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, they recommend 0.8 grams per kilogram body weight of protein per day. Now that's just in order to make maintenance levels. People really need more of that if they're going to exercise on a daily basis. So for the average recreational active person, bring it up to one gram per kilogram of body weight. Most people who are active on a regular basis, I'm talking about three, four days per week, can go up to 1.5, 1.7 grams per kilogram of body weight. If you are an elite athlete, the best of the best, these guys take up to two grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. Most of us don't need that much protein. If you work out on a daily basis, powdered supplements are great, but they're not food. They're called edible food-like substances, and it's much better to get your protein from whole food sources, both plant and animal sources. Remember that every gram of protein has four calories, so once you've had enough protein in order to maintain and repair your muscles, the rest goes towards calories, it goes towards energy, and surplus energy goes towards fat storage. So if you're going to have supplemental protein, make sure you deserve it. Make sure you earn that whey protein.